So in this repairing video, we are going to see about Shade MX Diet Thermi, which is in front of me. And customer told monopolar cut and coagulation is not working. And uh, they also said um, they whenever they uh, they pressing the switch, it will be activated. But uh, there is no response whenever uh, they touch the patient skin. So this is a machine and some monopolar and there is two monopolar portis there and this is a patient plate and patient plate is fine. Let's switch it on the machine. So self test is passed and main screen is came and let's try cut uh, with uh, 50 uh, 60 okay so it is activating and coagulation is also activating because the monopolar pencil is new okay now let's try cutting no response so this is a thing and I'll, I'll be showing you how to solve this issue let's switch off the machine and open up the cover and see what's inside and let's remove the monopolar pencil and patient plate and let's do it so this is the inside of the machine and customer didn't told me about uh, the bipolar working and I was asking them that whether uh, bipolar was worked or not but they didn't have any answer. So what I'm going to do is just uh, focus on monopolar because we are seeing the problem uh, in front of our eyes. So, so this is a monopolar part as you can see and this one the 4 ampere fuse first we should check this uh, fuse and I think this fuse got blown so what I am going to do is just take my multimeter and uh, put it into the continuity mode or buzzer mode and, and check the fuse <coughs> Nothing. The fuse blown. So if this fuse got blown, we should check this uh, transistors. Four transistors are there. We should check those things. And here we can see one capacitor. Uh, it's uh, this one, this blue color one. I'll zoom it. See this one. If this capacitor has shorted, then it will be make these problems. So what I'm going to do is just remove this uh, this one and see uh, transistors got blown or this capacitor issue or just a fuse issue. Uh, let's open it up and see what will happen. Now I separated the machine. and board so now we can get more access to 
set with multimeter so this is what i set this mosfets uh, 1 2 3 4 here and this fuse blown and this capacitor i said this one yeah that that blue one central yes this one so what i'm going to do is just check first uh, first this capacitor i'll check this capacitor first if it is shorted then it will make this fuse blown or else if that uh, capacitor is fine uh, i will check these transistors i mean mosfets for shorts if the mosfets are uh, shorted then uh, we will change the mosfet and fuse then that will be okay and the machine will be working good uh, let's measure capacitor first and see <coughs> see the resistance and then we will go with mosfets let's put the the multimeter into the continuity mode and this is that capacitor and capacitor showing 50 ohms which is good and then we'll check short it's 45 ohm which is good 45 ohm which is good and shorted mosfet and shorted mosfet we have two two shorted mosfet here so let me flip so here we got two shorted mosfets and let me check here to this side too. which is good so we have 1 and 2 and this one is fine and now you can see 45 ohm which is good and 45 ohm which is good and this and this got shorted so we should change this to mosfets and one fuse 4 ampere fuse then we will see whether it will work or not now i removed both of the shorted mosfets and replace it with new one to here and i'm going to replace this fuse too and this is 4 ampere then we'll check whether it will work or not